The 2023 Marketing Edge Awards may have come and gone, but the memory still lingers in the minds of many, especially brands and individuals that were recognized for their outstanding accomplishments and contributions to humanity. And one such individual is TVC's Mariah Falabi Brown, who won the Outstanding TV Hostess of the Decade, while the show uh, that she anchors, uh, Your View, won TV program of the decade and she's here with us in the studio to talk about these awards and of course more. Queen of talk show, you're welcome. <laughs> it's good to, it's good to, to see you again, Thank to share you. this set so uh, with, with you again. I know you had to rush because yes. you're in the middle of Absolutely. preparing for your own show, yes, but yes. congratulations are in order for, for this one. And I think it's symbolic that 10 years, 10 yes. years, only recently you were here, yes. just about 10 years Absolutely. of, um, you know, being of, yes. on the show, yes. you know, being among the creators of your view, yes. 10 years of such a remarkable journey and yet another credence yes. to, to your hand. I'm very really excited because marketing Edge is, um, is a publishing platform and they've been doing it for 20 years. In fact, they were also celebrating 20 years. And what happened was that they've been there to be the one to convey brands, the messages of brands, mm. and uh, they call themselves brand journalists. So, they, so they've been going around just to find information, what's new in the brand world. And now 20 years after they try to pick various uh, people across various brands to celebrate and who have done a lot of work. And there are a few, few awards I went on uh, over the weekend, but I was really especially proud of your view, I mean, it's been 10 years of work and hard work, a great team of people from the directors to the producers to the crew, the camera guys, the makeup guys, the assistant producers, they've, they've done a lot of work in the past 10 years. And this was just a, an assessment to the fact that they deserve to be recognized. And I was so proud to pick up this award on behalf of your view and also for myself. And I was really proud of that. Right. So, Absolutely. Nice. It's, it's quite interesting. You know, you've just been winning awards, you know, just crushing it. You know, this is even coming after your, yes. uh, your book that you launched you know, yes. lately right. and all yes. of that. Yes. I just want to ask, what do you think uh, they find so striking? We know your view. We know, yeah. we know the ratings. We know yeah. what it does to people when it comes to, you know, getting into people's home yeah. and talking to them. What, what makes your view quite significant think, from all this? I think it's the realness. The fact that women are coming to express themselves from their own depth of knowledge and experience. Um, these are not trained journalists. These are real women who have, an, who have an opinion, who read papers, who understand social issues, and are just sharing their views from their own world. And Nigerians find it very relatable. And because of that, it has been an anchor for many Nigerians on what's going on in the country, even those, in, those abroad. They depend a lot on your view to know exactly the true hearts of Nigerians. And I think that's what the show stands for. That's what makes us stand out from every other um, show out there. Mm, interesting. And, and I, I think another lesson that, you know, you, you should help share is, you know, the issue of growth as yeah. in 10 years yes. on a daily show, yeah. five days a week, yeah. two hours per day. Isn't, it's not even six days. It's not, it's, <laughs> right, and it's, it's now six days. days. It, it's, you know, it's so hard, hard working, even for us that yes. we are all together yes. in the profession. I just wonder, you know, how, what has been the drive behind the consistency? Honestly, these are women that all of us came in greenhorns. We had no idea what was going on. If you asked us at the time, who was the last two, three presidents, we we'll probably have to think about it a few times, but now, we're very well versed in political issues, social issues, because we read the papers every single day. So we've grown. We are now reference points because we can actually think of, we know what happened during Jonathan's period. We were very, they were there when the whole thing happened. So we have reference points from, from our own experience. And it makes it really interesting that these women have gone through the years and they've been very consistent. And what drives, what reminds us of the fact that people watch us. People depend on us a lot. So we are always careful. And I try to make sure our views are different. You know, once, once we all agree on something, we try to make it has to be different because Nigerians are very rich in culture, we're diverse in every way, and people must see things differently. So that's what I try to, that, that's what makes us really stand out. The fact that we make sure that our views are different, but we might, we might disagree, but we all agree, we're still Nigerians, and we still respect each other because regardless of our diverse views. And that's what the beauty of the show. And I think um, the fact that Nigeria, the diversity of Nigeria, you know, they, they, you, you guys must have faced a lot of challenges, oh, the yeah. ups and downs and all of that. But why all women? You know, you, we always talk about gender equality. Yes. It's just all about women. And sometimes the only, the only men you find there is just yes, those who are the guests. the guests. So that was the intention. It was very direct. When the show started 10 years ago, there went a lot of women talking on television. They were either just um, hosts or having to ask men questions. When it comes to politics and governance, it was more of men talking. Um, so one of the reasons why that show was created was to say women to have an idea. We also have a suggestion. We also have some solutions of, to problems. So we want to come together from different backgrounds, religion, Christian, Muslim, single, married, the whole works. Come together, 
Let's just have our own perspective and hear us, hear us out too. And, and that's, that, that's what makes the show beautiful. Many people have been putting me under pressure to put a man. Eh, there are a lot of shows. I can get men's views every single day, but it's good to have women just to talk and express their views on life issues. But is, is it working, you know, when you observe your view outside or yeah. the impact your view is having outside yeah. there? Because even on the field reporting, mm -hmm. I try to look for women. I make it a point of duty to get women mm. uh, respondents, female respondents. But, you know, the general view, even from the women, is that, oh, I don't yeah. want to be seen on camera. But do you think this is also helping women out there, I inspiring think, think them? Since the show started, there's been a lot of shows like ours. Many people have started shows where women are coming together. Women are more expressive. Yes, we're not there yet because they're work in progress. And that's why I always encourage anybody, whatever corner you are in Nigeria, replicate the show. Do the show as much as you want because women must keep talking. And the more women are empowered to speak, the more expressive we are, the more we're able to change society and perspective. There's so many things that needs to be changed in our country that when women are totally convinced of it and they can share it and talk about it and discuss it, society hears. So um, I, I think it's working. We're not there yet, certainly, but um, more women are being expressive this is, and I, and I love it, and I enjoy yeah. that, and I enjoy that, and I believe it's part of what your view has done to help women get that strength and power to speak. You know, I'm quite um, you know, amazed at how you all you know, come together and talk about issues, agree and disagree. We understand the profession, <laughs> but some people will be worried outside that sometimes when you disagree on air, do you take it home? Do you sometimes feel, no, no, no I don't like the way you spoke to me, you know, the way ladies yeah, do yeah, things yeah. behind the scene. Does yeah. it happen? I'm no, absolutely not, because we are there for the job. The moment the show is over, from sometimes there are things that I have to always support, so, so, so support so, usually. Sometimes when government really goofs, like when government just goes, and there's no way you can see this thing. Absolutely. And the ladies, I can't give them that responsibility to support government. I have to find the, the silver lining. I have to look at it from the other way. That, okay, maybe there's a reason why they did this, because you have to see things from all around. So we, after the show, that's it. Everybody knows we did all that for the show. After that, I can now have a view. Well, not see. everybody knows. Some will now say, ah, Mariah mm -hmm. is working for the government. Mariah was oh, yeah. speaking on behalf of the but government see, and all of that. fine. It's okay for you to have different views of me. Those who know, I, with, I know myself that I'm not working for government. But it's important for you to see the perspective of government because we all cannot be against the government. So the populist view is, oh, government is the enemy. They're not there for us. They hate us. Well, some of us must see that this is a nation that must work. Some of us must be optimists. Some of us must trust whether we want to believe it or not. So when, when people see that, that, okay, there's, there's, maybe, there's, maybe there's a possibility that they didn't do this intentionally. Hopefully, we can now have... So the idea really is to share different views, and we must respect those who's in support or against government. It's all views that must be respected and appreciated. And, and I, I reckon that, you know, when you reflect on the past 10 years, I don't know how stronger you have grown from, you know, the bashes, the knocks, you know, views, <laughs> views as yours, you know, your view. Yeah. These are ladies who come and say it yeah. as it is, at yeah. least to them. Right. And of course, we see the comments. People are calling also yeah. to say this and that. And then online, I don't know how you keep track. How do you how do you concentrate? Do you follow the, I have, the views I have online? One rule. I never read comments, <laughs> no matter what happens. Since my husband, since the thing that happened with my husband, I said my father, my husband cannot bath. Right. Mm -hmm. And dragon that happened since that day, I made a decision. I don't read comments. For me to read or, or comment on something. Maybe my brother or somebody, my sister, told me to go and reply to this person or somebody said something. But I make it a plan never to read comments on social media because those that are praising me, I don't see it. Those that don't praise me, I don't see it. Everybody, I, I, I just really can't be bothered. A few times I try to scroll through, but most times I don't concentrate. And that's on one end. But it doesn't mean I don't hold Nigerians' views important. Mm -hmm. I do because I get the fillers. They come to me. People are dragging Absolutely. me. And, it's, okay. and I honestly, I, I, I like the division. I like the dissenting views. That's why how we can build the democracy. One of my girlfriends who works in a different um, station, she, I, I said something, she said something on TV. I disagree with her openly. She replied me respectfully, and we're still good. And that's the beauty. I don't have to agree with you. You don't have to agree with me. But we can still live harmoniously in this country. Because you have and healthy conversations. Show. Healthy, right? disagree. You don't have to agree with me at all. And it's OK. Mm. We have nowhere else we're going. We almost not agree to the same thing. We must believe that this nation must work. And that's, and that's where we stand as your view. Mm. Right. That's quite interesting. I, I want to ask um, what makes you tick, you know, as a person, the Morayo herself. Because um, some, I've seen a lot of people would say, I want to be Morayo. I want to be like Morayo. How does she do it? What, what exactly would you be saying in, a regard, uh, in this regard? Honestly, I would just say I found purpose early. I was able to ask God for guidance. And where I am, because I found that it's easy for me to be driving. So anytime I want to be pushed left and right, 
I know that I'm where God wants me to be. And that in itself drives me and makes me to stay focused. Mm. So once you find purpose early, regardless of what it is you're doing, you'll be okay. No, no, weathers, weather, different weathers will come, but it will help you stay grounded and know that you are in the right place. Stay there and your blessings will come and meet you where you are. Mm. Congratulations have been pouring in for the crew and ladies of your view. Uh, the award-winning uh, talk show hosted, hosted uh, by uh, Moriah Afolabi Brown as well as other interesting ladies with divergent uh, views, interesting views. And Mariah herself is here. Of course, she has uh, the awards uh, for the Outstanding TV Hostess of the Year. While your view won uh, the TV program of the decade, 10 years of, um, you know, remarkable experiences, Mariah. And in the midst of the 10 years, you've also, you know, done well for yourself, uh, Dr. Murayo, uh, I, I hear people call you that, you know, so often. And, you know, I, I'm just inspired, you know, all the way, as well as the book uh, you wrote. I know we brought you a few months ago to yeah. talk about that. How is the book, uh, you know, being received? Honestly, it is such an amazing success. And I'm so thankful to God. People tell me, even yesterday, somebody told me, Murayo, when I bought that book, I couldn't drop it till I finished it. You know, like when you started, you just want to know what's happening because I, I poured out myself into that book and everybody... I've been getting so many accolades, so many reviews. I've gone in. I'm so grateful. Even um, Robin Heights called me yesterday, and they told me that they, they're almost sold out, and they have, they have, they're like, they're going to be asking for more. And I'm wow. thinking, oh, my goodness, people are actually buying this book. So I'm so grateful. It's been amazing. I, still, I, 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 I dispatched the U.K., I dispatched the U.S., I mean, it's different parts of the country. And I'm oh, so it's hard copy? Hard copy, oh, All the yes. way? Oh, okay. And I have a signed copy to the okay. U.K., the oh, U.S. Oh, lovely, and, um, yeah, lovely. Really excited. lovely. I've been looking at this award, and it's quite symbolic. And um, to me, I, I feel it's um, a Poseidon something. That's yes, the Poseidon, God of the that's the Greek. Um, goddess of the sea. God, God of the sea yes. and, and water and earthquake and all of that. So, given that to you, and you're a woman, what do you think? What symbol? How symbolic do you find it? It just means growth, expansion, um, multiplication. We're going to do this more. Amen. And I think that I believe that your view is going to stand with or without me. You know, mm. and it's important to say that with or without me, your view is going to stand because women must keep speaking. And I don't plan to be in your view forever. I pray to move on to other things. But I want to be always watch your view wherever I am. So yes, that show is still kicking strong. So this is expansion. This is growth. This is success for more years. And uh, for more women out there, as I said, I like it. I would like to hear your view in Yoruba. I'd like to hear your view in Pidgin, in Egun, in Igbo, in different mm -hmm. languages. Mm -hmm. People must, because Nigerians must speak. Women must start to speak up. And if we can speak from your own dialect, speak it, have a show, talk. Gather women, express yourself, because every woman in the community is different. They have different experiences, and they all deserve a, a, a platform for expression. So I think that's one of the things I would like your view to be replicated across the, across the world. Right. Really. right. Your view cannot be isolated from TVC. So your view on a, a, on a platform, a national, international platform as yes. TVC, what has it been with you? You know, working... I mean, doing working with TVC yeah. at a point in time, at and then point, right. doing your view, you know, largely on a TVC channel. Yes, TVC has is my been my family. I mean, Absolutely. and honestly, it gives us that international exposure. When we travel outside the country, people watch the show. They know the show. They identify us. They they can also testify of what the, your view has been in their life. So it is a huge platform, and we don't take it for granted at all. We are appreciative of TVC, and you know, the MD, the directors, they've always been there for us from the beginning. And they've never allowed us to fall aside. They're always guiding us, you know. So I'm so grateful for TVC all the time. I would never take it for granted. Oh, okay. But, you know, something you said earlier on, you know, we might as well just, you know, explore that. When you said, okay, eventually the program may not, you know, circle around you. Uh, well, the Mariah then, when the show started, and the Mariah now, and we see your hands in a lot of um, mm -hmm. in, in a lot of exercises, enterprises, and you know um, we, we are with you all the way. You know, saying, "Oh, that's Thank that's uh, our queen." <laughs> But um, has work started? You're talking about, you know, perhaps somebody who will step into your shoes. Uh, how soon is that? Or what, what is even the idea? Or, or, or what, what is even <laughs> the idea be, beyond, be, behind that? I take no. the point, though, and we see the ladies yeah. who also come in at points mm. in interval, various intervals to come um, and, and think, uh, post the show. I, I think, I, me personally, maybe I can see it on here for the first time, that I feel that what your view was created to achieve, it have, I've, 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 I've done my assignment of creating the platform and it has matured to the point where it can actually stand alone. So if I do, if I do plan to move on, it's probably going to be any moment from now, but maybe not immediately. But um, yeah, I think the show has matured enough, and I think um, it can stand on its own. 
And I think the, those who are driving it are doing a good job. And regardless of what happens in future, it's, it's, still, it's still a good show that I'm part of. So definitely, I am considering the fact that at some point, I have to move on. Mm, that's right. And then how um, do you see the Nigerian youth, the Nigerian people, especially the youth? You know, a lot, majority of them are your fans. <laughs> And housewives too, they're your fans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nigeria, you, that, that, that's our powerhouse. Right. You know, that's our powerhouse. And I think they have shown that with or without government, they can do a lot of things. And I think um, the president right now has recognized the importance of the youth mm. and he's doing everything in time to engage them. And we can see it from his ministers. We can see it from the policy he's putting together. And um, I'm happy that he's one person that I supported and I believed him in. Mm. Um, I, I strongly believe that in the next few years, the Nigerian youth will find more essence in, in this government. And um, I, I really think they are, they are a powerhouse for Nigeria to grow. And I'm really excited about the, the future for them. Um, other women that are watching the show, you'd be surprised that more men actually watch our show than women. Yeah. You'd be surprised because more men, oh my, my wife, they'll tell you I, their wife watches. You see, where the wife is, my husband and watches. You see, yes, husband and wife. You see, husband, husband say, Oh, my wife watches. You see, husband, husband say, Oh, my wife, I watch. Like, whatever. I love you. I'm watching. We thank you for all. We don't take your watching for granted. And, and, and the fact that the men, uh, the impute of the men, uh, I wonder, you know, how that has also helped your work. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's always important for us to have the male perspective, right? Um, um, the, the way that, whether I like it or not, we see men perspective all the time. But um, That's right. it's good to have them sometimes, but we like to keep it a woman's show. Mm. Absolutely. Interesting. Mariah, we've detained you enough. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, you have, you have um, your, your show to prepare for. Yeah. We say a big thank you. Even though you're one of us, you know, having you on the set, <laughs> this is, this is something, Absolutely. something that rubs off well thank on, on, thank on me. Thank you, thank you so very much. much. Congratulations you. and our best wishes for you all the way. Thank Please you. Absolutely. Yay. Dr. Mariah <laughs> Afalabi Brown thank there. You.